rage over gun violence in our community and around the nation continues. Today, the Mobile NAACP shared their frustration at Government Plaza alongside several city and community leaders asking the question we've heard so much this week. When is enough enough? WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman joins us in our studio with more on that. Nicolette? Yeah, Devin Roseanne. So this is part of a national movement and they asked people to wear orange to raise awareness about gun violence. The orange that we wear is to honor both the survivors and the victims. A week of violence in the city of Mobile. First, you got to change hearts change to change minds. And there are broken hearts in our community, and you know it. And every time a trigger is pulled, another heart's being broken. Two children were shot and killed in two separate shootings this week. 11-year-old LaQuinton Morissette was killed inside his own home. Mobile police say a bullet went through his front door on Duval Street. Mobile police say 14-year-old Sierra Jackson was shot and killed while she was riding around with her friends on Michael Donald Avenue. The violence outraging not just family, but members in the community. Let's say enough is enough. The time is now. Every time I hear a child is gone, I think about my child, 16 years old. Nigel Hill's son, Chavan Scruggs, was shot and killed on Allison Street last September. Hill is now begging other parents to start paying attention. Do you know what's in your, in, in your child's closet? Do you know what your son or your daughter is riding around with? Because that's where it starts. Hoping to get through to someone before it's too late. Some people, this may not even bother them. It never bothered me until it was my child. Let me tell you, God has no favors. It can be you tomorrow. Now, community leaders and activists also spoke about the recent mass shootings across the nation, including the elementary uh, school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, where 19 students and two teachers died. They're calling on lawmakers to create effective gun laws. Live in the studio, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. Thank you.